Hey everybody, J.M. Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym of Pittsburgh, and I am here with the King Snake, Steve <laughs> Kuklo, on his road to the Arnold in 2021. That's right. All right, we're how far away, Steve? I know you know down to the seconds. Yeah, four, four weeks, two days, and 12 hours. There we go. There we go. Now, this is a big deal for you. Yeah. Right? A lot on the line. This is it. This is do or die for yeah. the Olympia, right? Yeah. You know? That's true. So... I mean, there's a lot of a lot of good competitors in that show. It, it, like I look looking at the lineup, it, to me it looks like the, a mini Olympia, minus you know top three guys from last year. So it's uh, it's definitely motivating knowing going into the show that it's going to be a lot of the same guys that are going to be already going to the O, but also knowing that I gotta I gotta bring it. It's like you said, it's do or die, and knowing that I only option is to win. So. Right. There's no other option. And there's a couple bring other it. guys that's they're that's they're they're banking on that too. Because if you're unaware, this year's Arnold, only the men's bodybuilding over winner gets to go to the Olympia two weeks later. Everybody else, including the winners of the other divisions, are all qualified for the 2022 Olympia. But that's not the game plan, right? That's not the game plan. No, we're going to win, and, um, you know, we, we come off a tough loss in Texas, got second place, and it really, you know, kind of even, even lit a, more of a fire under my butt to kind of say, all right, you know, we need to make some changes, improve in the, right. the next five weeks. Uh, got some good feedback from the judges and, and, you know, using that to say, okay, this is what I have to do. And, and I got a great game plan with my trainer and, and we're ready to, I think we're going to be ready to, to bring an even improved package. All right. So let's talk about Texas. Yeah. That, I wasn't there. I was at the Tahoe show. But like everybody else in the bodybuilding world, I think we were all following along. I, I, it was funny at the Tahoe show. I saw so many guys and uh, had their phones. They were watching the, the, the pay-per-view, <laughs> the live stream, yeah, right? Yeah. And, you know. Then I'd be having people go, come on, can't Tyler tell you what's going on? What's what's happening down there? You think I'm going to bug him for you? Oh, to find Tyler, out? Tyler was working. I, he, had his, he had his work cut out for him. I know that. I mean, between just the, the, that top three call out that, that we had between it. I mean, we worked back and forth and back and forth. And I mean, I think one time just the last call out, we were out there. Somebody said for 18 minutes. It was, right. I mean, which is a long time on stage. Yeah. But, I know the, I, I, if I was a judge, I wouldn't want to be a judge of that show. Right. Just because of, it was three great physiques that are all kind of different and they're all, so it was definitely down to just minute little things. Yeah, I know. It, it was it was interesting to watch the people, uh, you know, walking around. They're, 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 they have their people on stage, but they had their phones and, you know, they were all watching. And, you know, I'd sneak a peek too because I didn't know what was going on either. Yeah. No, you know? I mean, the energy at that show was electric. I mean, it felt like a, a mini Olympia almost. I mean, obviously being in my hometown, having, you know, probably 200 plus people there that are just right. actual friends of mine. And then a lot of people that know me from being at shows and the gyms and stuff. And so it was it was cool to be able to compete in front of them. I haven't had a chance in probably eight, eight or nine years since they had an open men's show in right. Texas. So, um that show I really treated like it was uh, an Arnold or an Olympia just because I wanted to, to win it, you know? Right. And obviously any show we do, but that one kind of held a little special place uh, in my heart, so we'll, right. be, we'll be back. <laughs> right, so I know you had talked about potentially doing that show next year, but yeah. that's a long way away. That's a, that's a ways away, yeah. Right, we're just focused on Columbus right now. Columbus. Columbus and then Orlando, right? That's it. That's it. So yeah, I mean, uh, I was kind of, I, I was doubtful that the Arnold was going to happen this year initially. You know, obviously we always shoot for beginning of the year, March, that the Arnold's, and then it, that was obviously getting pushed back, pushed back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I just don't think it's going to happen. And then they announced it, you know, right. like May-ish or something like that. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. So it, it just kind of lined up when you look at the time frame being two weeks right before the Olympia in the Texas show was just, it'll be five weeks before the Arnold. Right. So, it just kind of lined up well. And, well, and, and the fact that they gave that qualification for the men's bodybuilding to go right to the Olympia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. That never happens. Not that close to the O. Usually no. it's like, what, a month and a half cut off, something like that? Yeah. But, yeah. So. No, it's, so I think this sh the show is going to be amazing. Uh, I always love competing at the Arnold, and I think uh, it, we're definitely going to have all the attention on us because no expo, and it's just the, just the show. Right. So. Yeah. I think. I mean, uh, it, but, it's going to be pretty wild. Yeah, no, but we're gonna. I want to bring a wild package, and and I think uh, making the the right changes, doing the work, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be hopefully my best package. I had a lot of people say that about Texas. It was one of the best packages they saw of me. So I think if we make some more improvements, it's gonna definitely make a case for a W. Right. All right. So I don't normally address Instagram internet <laughs> gossip, right? But there was a lot of uh, negative Nancy's, the best way to put it. 
saying that Ian should not have done the Texas show since he got his qualification in Tampa and he took away somebody's uh, uh, you know, Olympia qualification. What is your thoughts on that? Hey, uh, my props to him. Like he, as he, the video he made prior to the show about the reasoning why he wanted to do it, I think was it was very professional. And I, and he's like, it's, I, we're competing, and part of why we compete is to make money and win shows. Mm -hmm. So I, I get that reasoning, and and yeah. um, I think he he did the right thing. I, I mean, if I did the Tampa, and if I knew Texas was a week, I, I probably would have done the same thing. So. Right. Um, you know, my hat's off to him for, for coming in, improving from what he brought to Tampa, which is not an easy feat in one week. Right. And, um, you know, we'll just, we'll chalk it up and, and learn from this and know what we have to do, you know, going against a guy like Ian at the Arnold and, and the other guys I'll be competing against. Because, right. you know, it's good to kind of get on stage and see where you compare to. I think having stage time is very beneficial to say, okay, this, this is a pose that I could beat this guy in, so how am I going to expose other things on him? Right. Um, so it was good to get against, you know, some of the guys that I'll be seeing at the Arnold. You know? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've always said, and they say this about other divisions too, with other you know, people competing, oh, why is this person doing so many shows, why is this person doing this? Well, listen, if you can't beat them there, how are you going to beat them at the Olympia? Exactly. Right? Exactly. I mean, so you, they, they took your Olympia qualification away, so are we supposed to give a participation here? Here, go to the Olympia. No, I mean, right? that's, like, that's kind of like you know? the question. Like, you're going to get kicked down, you're going to stay down, you're going to get up, and you're going you're gonna to right. come back stronger. And, and I've done that my whole career. I mean, no, every show I haven't, it hasn't gone the way I want it to. I haven't won every show, but, you know, it's just kind of recharged me, and, and I've said, you know, I'm going to get back up and be better than the next one. Right. And that's what bodybuilding's about. It's not, you know, you... Obviously, there's there's 20 guys, 10 guys, depending on the show, that are there to win. Everybody's training their butt off. Everybody's sacrificing, and really, there's only going to be one winner. Right. So at the end of the day, you just got to bring your best and, and what you're happy with. And, and I think, um, you know, I continually try to do that and have no regrets and just go out there and shine. Yeah. Let my hard work shine. That's <laughs> it. So listen, be in Columbus if you can. If yeah. you can't, watch the pay-per-view. Absolutely. Purchase to pay for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, watch the King Snake do his thing. We're going to do it. Yeah. Is there anything that you, any last words you want to give to the people here? Man, uh, you know, what, what you do as an organization with NPC uh, News Online and IFBB, I mean, there, there's so much great information out there, and, and I love to be a part of it. I think what you, um, you know, coming out here and getting, you know, training at the NPC gym, I think it's it's a it's an honor and a privilege. I've been with the organization. That, shit, it's almost coming up to 20 years. I think it was eight. I mean, I saw him at his first <laughs> contest. And he was he was still a teenager. Eight, 18, 18 in yeah, Michigan. Was, yeah, and then I came to Teen Nationals, which is right. Yeah, you know, in, in this right here. So, a lot of years and and people out there, just be patient. You know, and and learn from every show you do. I encourage people to do shows. Um, there's, there's just, you know, the, the whole part of bodybuilding is just being a better version of you every time. Just improving, improving, improving. And, and this sport teaches you so much about discipline and doing that. And, and it's helped me so much in life that that's why I've been doing as long as I have and, and continue to want to be successful and better everything I do. So I so, appreciate it. So one, one little funny story before we stop here. As I said, I saw him in his very first contest, right? One thing that stayed constant this whole time was your mom. <laughs> Your mom literally came up to my dad and I because he was there to judge. Uh -huh. You have to see my son. My son is the best. He's going to win this show. He, we're like, okay, all right, yeah, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you see some of Debbie in my mom. Cause well, listen, you know, the love for your the mom is the ultimate hype man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ever. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, and yeah. the fact was, she, someone told him who we were. She made a beeline right for us. And we are just like, my dad's like, okay. And then when we saw you, you know, but yeah, you don't know what the, the person's going to sure, look like. Sure, you, sure, sure. You know, every, every person thinks their kid's the best, right? Yeah. But you actually were. <laughs> yeah, she's But, been, she's but I love your mom. I mean, she's been from day one meeting her, and she's never changed. Never changed. That's her. It's like what you see is what you get, and that's a wild, redhead, fun, um, you know, loves her son, her family, and, right. and the people that, that are around her, and she's going to have a drink with you. So. Right. <laughs> But in, in your mind, you're just re-picturing her coming up like she made, made a beeline right for Oh, us. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's We're like, okay, ma'am. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you're like, I don't know if I want to say anything back or what. No. Right. You know, but it, it was fun. It's been fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on that note, we're going to sign off. We look forward to seeing you in Columbus. Absolutely. Okay. And hopefully seeing you on the Olympia.
Virginia stage. That's the plan. Later. That is the plan. We'll do it. All right. Thanks. Jay Mannion. Steve Kuklo in the house. Signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com.